Hey guys, Dr. Zach here, Chief Entomologist here at Thanksgiving Point. Today, we're talking about something that creeps a lot of people out, but there's no need to be afraid. Today, we're talking about arachnids. Now, a lot of people are afraid of arachnids, and I get it, spiders can be creepy. But, for the most part, you don't have to worry about spiders, and there are so many more cool types of arachnids than just spiders. Today, we're gonna break them apart, but here's what they have in common. They all have four legs on each side of their body. They've got eight legs total. They've got two major body segments. They've got their head and thorax squished together, the cephalothorax and their abdomen. And they have a weird set of things at the front of their body called pedipalps and scorpions that could be its claws, but they've all got pedipalps, no wings, no antennae, no compound eyes. That's an arachnid. Yeah, she's super fast. Whoa, Whoa dude. We'll just give it a second. <laughs> so by far the most abundant and diverse arachnids and probably the one that you're most familiar with and maybe even afraid of are the spiders. Tarantulas are a great place to start because they're so big you can really see those arachnid body features well. Check this out. One, two, three, four legs and that, that thing at the front right there. Oh, thank you for showing those off. Those are the pedipalps. Holy moly, come here. This tarantula is particularly cool because it's a good way to show off how you can tell a boy spider from a girl spider. The way that you can tell a boy from a girl is that front pair of appendages, the pedipalps, they have little boxing gloves on the end of them for the males. So if you look up close, you'll actually be able to see this weird little like turkey baster like thing on the end of it. This is a boy tarantula. So we're all familiar with spiders and of course we're familiar with spider webs. If you look on the back of this spider right there, see the little like weird little finger-like pair of things back there? Those are the spinnerets. So the way that spiders spin webs is they use those spinnerets. With tarantulas, they'll line the inside of holes, they'll make little like, uh, you know, like webbing around their caves or sometimes they go up in trees and make webbing. With big spiders like orb weaving spiders, they'll spin a nice beautiful web like we think of that catches flies. Other things like black widows have this just massive uh, web called a cob web, but all spiders have those spinnerets and they all spin webs. You go back in there. <laughs> How awesome was that? Cool. Now, we do have a lot of tarantulas here in Utah, but you're not likely to find them in your house, but you are likely to find one of these guys, and these are just the most adorable little spiders. Even people who hate spiders usually love jumping spiders. That right there is a jumping spider. So just like that tarantula, you can see the eight legs, you can see the pedipalps at the front, you can see those massive eyes on the jumping spider, and you can probably see the fangs down there. They have itsy bitsy little fangs, whoop! And like most modern spiders, and unlike tarantulas, the fangs are tiny and they pinch inward. They actually pinch rather than being grappling hooks like the fangs of a tarantula. Jumping spiders are totally harmless. They're not gonna bite you. If you find these inside of your house, just leave them alone. They're fun to play with if you see them. They're gonna eat the other things like your fruit flies that are inside of your kitchen. Just leave them alone. They're no harm to you whatsoever. Let's move on to the second most famous arachnid and another one that really freaks people out, sometimes justifiably so. Don't you sting me. So everyone knows that scorpions are cool, weird, sometimes scary, venomous animals, but a lot of people don't realize they're arachnids. And if you have arachnophobia, I guess you should probably be scared of these guys too. But for the most part, there's no need to be. Scorpions are venomous, and with this huge emperor scorpion, you can see that big old stinger on the back there. So they are venomous. But like this one, a lot of them are mild-natured and they're not gonna sting you unless provoked. Now, just like a spider, they are arachnids, they've got their eight legs, they've got their two major body segments, but the pedipalps, those little leg-like appendages on the front of a spider, with scorpions, they're the claws. One of the most romantic thing about scorpions is that the boys and the girls, they dance. So if a boy and a girl scorpion find each other and they like each other, they'll grab each other by their pinchers and they'll do this back and forth dance, back and forth dance. And if they really like each other, the female will signal that she likes the boy and the boy will drop his genetic material right on the ground and then the female will dance over it, absorb it off the ground. And then after a while they give live birth and the babies actually crawl up onto the back of the mom and hang out there for a while. And during that time, she is super defensive. She's a really good mom. She's gonna take extra special care of her young. Awesome guys, so that was a pretty good recap of spiders and scorpions, but there are a whole bunch of other arachnids that we still need to talk about. We just don't have time to do it right now. So check back in soon for part two where we'll talk about all sorts of other crazy arachnids. So if you like the video, do me a favor and like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe. So when we come out with part two, you can see more other crazy arachnids. If you got questions about these weird little animals, leave it in the comments down below. We'll answer them or better yet, just come down here in person to the butterfly biosphere. We'll show them all to you. Thanks.